Hi gang, so a few weeks ago I posted a video on counts as and what I think makes a good counts as army. So I thought it might be a good idea to see how to put those ideas into practice. In this video, I'm gonna take an out of production model line, my currently growing squat army, and look through all the ways that could be represented on the ninth edition tabletop. So I've been building a squat army over the last year or so. I mean, I say that, the models have been sitting in a box for the best part of a decade. Anyway, I decided to paint them with contrast paints, and since that's quite different from my usual large batch oil wash method, I've been doing a squad here and there as a palette cleanser. There's still a way to go before they're a finished army, but what army? What's the best way to run squats in 9th edition 40k? A few things before we start. First, a good counts as is entirely dependent on what models you're using, and there are a load of Space Dwarves models out there. I've even reviewed a few. And these vary in how big they are or how heavily armoured they are, what sorts of vehicles they have. Conversions can be even more variable. My friend Monk showcased his Chaos Squat Army over on his channel, and he's scratch built or sculpted everything himself. I've included the link in the description below. It's a unique and beautiful army that he runs as orcs, but that's not going to be appropriate for every model range out there. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be talking about how to run a squat army when you're either using old-fashioned squat models or where you're using similar models but want an army that feels like the old-fashioned one. Second, I know there have been various fan codexes released over the years, but of all the homebrew rules floating around on the internet, I think fan codexes are the hardest to convince people to try, which usually means playing the fan codex occasionally and then having to switch to something official for an event. I don't want to have to remember two sets of rules, so I'm going to try and find a solution using official rules. And lastly, competitiveness is not a consideration. The goal here is to find the most appropriate match, not the most powerful. Right, with all that in mind, exactly which models are we trying to represent? Well, 80s squat models come in broadly three flavours. First, you have the Brotherhood Infantry. Dwarf-sized humanoids in what looks like flak armour, could be carapace at a push, and armed with mostly las guns, the occasional auto gun, and some bolt guns. These guys make up the bulk of any squat force and include specialists armed with plasma guns, flamers, and melter guns, heavies armed with heavy bolters, las cannons, and plasma cannons, as well as more esoteric stuff like conversion beamers. They also man artillery like the thud gun, Gun and the mole mortar, and they have leaders with power fists and power axes. Finally, these guys also include some command models like this Mechanicus squat, living ancestors, standard bearers, and musicians. Secondly, you've got the exosquats. Squats in extremely heavy armour and armed with bolt guns and power axes. Sometimes they even ride on bikes, but that leads us on to the third flavour in a squat army, guild bikes. These either come as normal bikes and trikes equipped with bolt guns, or heavy weapon trikes with multi-melters. Vehicles are a bit more difficult. I associate squats with classic rogue trader vehicles like rhinos and land raiders, and while there's also the possibility for bigger vehicles, I don't have any plans to convert those yet. I also want to get some sort of drill in there, as I have a few of the old ramshackle games boring machines, and I want to use them. So that's the models we want to represent. Let's start with Brotherhood, as they're the core of the army. First, thud guns, las guns, plasma guns and the like all exist and are recognisable in 40k, so in accordance with my last video, if I want to put them on the table, that's what those weapons have to represent. That does a lot of the heavy lifting for me. The recognisable weapons alone narrow it down to some version of Imperial, Chaos or maybe Gene Stealer cults. Even Mechanicus, which seemed like they'd be a good fit, would have trouble with those weapon options. Astra Militarum is the most obvious choice, let's start there. Infantry squads have flak armour, las guns, and all the right weapon options. There are squat loader models, so building heavy weapon teams is possible. Thud guns are already part of the list. Plus, they have options for command squads with banners and vox casters, maybe a good use for those musicians. And they have psychers and tech priests. But there are some downsides. I'd probably have to leave my bolt gun and heavy plasma gun models at home. Mole mortars are slightly confusing. They could be the mole launcher in a Death Corps engineer squad, though then I'd have to convert some models with shotguns, or they could just be mortar teams. You can have mole or mortar, pick one. A slightly different option would be to replicate a lot of this using the Renegades and Heretics rules. Recently moved to Legends, but that doesn't bother me. You can replicate a lot of the Astra Militarum options here, and the Covenant gives them a bit of attacking punch, but generally they have even worse leadership and armour than Guardsmen, which 
doesn't sound very squatty. And the Astra Militarum doctrine system probably gives you a bit more flexibility in creating something that does. The last option I mentioned are Gene Stealer Cults, and they have the option of taking a lot of the same recognisable weapons, plus the option for bikers, which might be useful later. But teaming them up with something to represent the exosquats would be pretty difficult. You'd end up with the exosquats counting as aberrants or tyranids or something. So at the minute, I think Astra Militarum are the best option. So what about exosquats and warlords? Now, in the original rules, exo armor was basically squat terminator armor. So let's start there. If we run these as a separate space marine detachment, then the exosquats would be a lot tougher than the regular guys, but they're also very visually different. So I'm not sure that's a big problem. I believe these guys have extra toughness and wounds. The glaring issue here is that regular marine terminators, well, can't take power axes. There's a few options. They could be wolf guard terminators in a space wolf detachment. That gives them more flexible weapon options and stuff like the sagas are actually pretty thematic. You could run them as Chaos Terminators, although that means your Brotherhood guys are going to have to be either cultists or renegades and heretics, and they're nowhere near as thematic, so let's leave those out. Finally, instead of being Terminators, the Exo Armor could just represent Power Armor, and you could run them as Company Veterans or Honor Guard or something. In fact, you could give those veterans Storm Shields, basically turning them into two wound relic Terminators, though it's slightly less obvious for your opponent that way. Running a Space Marine Detachment also gives me access to Land Raiders, and if I ran them as Vets, then I'd have access to Rhinos and actual Termites for the drills. However, these Space Marine choices are also influenced by the third part, because we have to account for the Bikers, and there are very few choices. Again, while Gene Steeler Cults represents lightly armoured bikers pretty well, they don't really do the rest of the army. The Astra Militarum detachment allows rough riders, but the weapons are all wrong and I dislike using bikes to represent cavalry, even if it doesn't make much difference in 9th edition. Whereas Space Marine Codices give us bike squads, attack bikes, and scout bikes, which are the correct sorts of models and armed with the correct weapons. But it does mean that this guy is a Toughness 5 Space Marine attack bike with a 3 plus save and Angels of Death. It's not ideal, but I don't really see another option. They obviously look the most like attack bikes, that's by far the least confusing thing, so we'll just have to say that the amazing squat engineering is why they're so tough. So what does that do to the rest of our Space Marine detachment? If we're saying that these bikers have a 3 up Save, it's probably simpler to just run the regular bikes and trikes as Space Marine bikes too. That way they all have the same stats. And if they're three up, then we need to make sure the exosquats have a two up because they look more heavily armoured. Again, either running them as vets with storm shields or running them as terminators are both options. My instinct is to keep it simple and run the Space Wolf detachment. They're terminators, easy. It just means leaving the rhinos at home and running the drills as something like Hades breaching drills. So I think that's it. Astra Militarum Detachment for all the Brotherhood, and then a Space Wolves Detachment for the Terminators and Bikers. I'm not sold on that compared to a regular Marine Detachment, but I think it's the simplest thing. It means some things left on the shelf, but not too much. It totally complies with WYSIWYG, and I think it's about as clear for my opponent as it possibly could be. Of course, I have no idea if it'll be any good on the battlefield. I've still got a bit of a way to go before I can actually field this army. They're still very much in parts. Maybe there'll be something more appropriate released between now and then. If you've got any better ideas, or if there are units I didn't consider, then let me know below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.